two big taco bags. What's going on, guys? King Shrats here, back in the video on the channel. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It is 1.15 a.m. I have been out with my friends. Uh, I had a party. My friends are getting married, so it wasn't really a bachelor party, but it was like a get-together. You know, we didn't do anything like that debauchery type of stuff, but it was just a get-together. Everybody's catching up and stuff, but I can get home to one o'clock in the morning. I didn't eat while everybody else was stuffing their faces with wings and fries and beer and all kinds of stuff. I didn't have any of it, so I can come home and make a video. They all knew the vibes. So I went to one of my favorite late night spots. Last time I didn't get the name close enough because y'all say I talk too fast. So look, there's a QR code. And then here's the name, Taqueria Los Gueros. It is located, well, there's like mad locations in North Jersey. This is the Garfield location. It's the one I frequent when I get this because they're open like super late. There's also a Passaic location, which I go to that's open super late. But um, I don't care what the ratings are. One of my favorite places, whether it's late night or not late night. And I won't even lie to you. I had this recently because a lot of times when I stream with my boy Sam on Twitch, this is the place that I go to. Anywho, spicy nacho dip. Let's go through it. Spicy nacho cheese dip. We got some tortillas. These are corn. There's eight of them in there. I do know that. We have the spicy onions. We have the... Since when they do the sour cream like the... Hey, they must have. Times is hard. I feel that. We have the torta. We got the torta. All right. I got a breakfast torta. So it's eggs with a bunch of other stuff in it. They didn't want to cut it today. I guess they didn't want to do that. That's okay, too. But it's got ham, cheese, and all kinds of other good stuff on it. On my torta. They didn't want to cut it. it must be on strike. They must have had... Times is hard. Times is hard. They didn't want. They didn't want to cut it. We have. I don't even know what these are. I think this is my alambre. Ninety percent sure. Yes, this is my alambre. This is a Hawaiian alambre, which literally means it has ham and cheese. Uh, we'll go through that. Got all the salsas. That's bag one. Let's go into bag two. Got the packaged sour cream. Thank you so much for that. That's weird, but I love y'all. Bag number two. It's been a long day, bro. I am hungry as hell. Left my house at 3 o'clock. I didn't get home till 15 minutes ago. It's a long day. Tacos. I got, uh, I don't even remember. I think it's Al Pastor. 90% sure it's Al Pastor. We got our tacos. Double corn tortilla. You can actually get the single corn tortilla, and it costs like a dollar less. But we don't do that here. If I do something, I'm going to do it right. I believe this will probably be my, yes, order of nachos. I got chuleta, so it's pork chops. Uh, in my nachos, extra guac, no it's not extra guac, but it might as well be, the amount of guac that I have in there, also got an order of nacho chips to go with my cheese, which is right here, I'll put it off to the side, and <laughs> mid zero sugar, um, don't ask, I don't even want to talk about it, a little sad, but let's get into this, let me move my chair, let me get situated, I am starving, I said that already, doesn't matter, let's eat, Let's start off with my favorite thing in the world. Not really, but they're some of my favorite tacos. We got the al pastor, the double tortilla with the onions, the cilantro. I'm going to go. I, honestly, I'm so like ready for this that I don't even need the lime today, but I'm going to dig in. We're just going to squeeze out all of everything because I ain't got time to go back in here. And the pico. Boom, boom, boom. You have no idea right now. Mm. Mm. You have no idea. I've had these a billion times. Um, the Al Pastor here is a little different than the ones I'm used to, but they have a vertical spit. So, it is legit. That rhymed. And... I can't even get this fast enough. I just want some sour cream. Some of my favorite around. Super flavorful. Also got some alambres, which is peppers, onions, cheese. I got the Hawaiian version, so it's got ham, as well as pineapple, avocado. And what you do is, you take this. Right. So you got a corn tortilla, and I just like to do this. I just grab it up, just grab it, 
You just grab it like that. So then you got all the meat with the cheese and the pina. Nine point three. This something I've actually never had before, but big slices of ham. Mm. It's gonna hit every time. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. Solid 8.7 out of 10. We got the chuleta nachos. Y'all can tell I'm hungry because I ain't even really getting into it. I'm just going to eat it. I'm going to talk to in a minute after I try everything. I got to have a conversation because we had some wild stuff. Again, not in a party sense of wild. I'll tell you when I get to it. But the chuleta nachos, so it's pork chops. I don't want to grab at the nucleus, but I don't care right now. Let me try one of these pork chops. Damn. I never had these, the, 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 the chuleta, the pork chop before. I'm just going to put it on this nacho because I don't feel like grabbing it later. Super tender. Oh, man. You get so many nachos, too. Every meal here, like the nacho, the tacos for four is like $9, which I can lock with. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That might have moved up to my second favorite protein that they have. Al Pastor is still king, but the pork chops are like super juicy and seasoned. And you get so much on here. They give you so much food. Wow, I always like this place. But that gets a 9 out of 10 for me. And then I got this torta, right? And it's a breakfast torta. So it's got scrambled eggs, bacon, ham, sausage, cheese, jalapenos, tomatoes, which y'all see here under here. I don't want to just dissect the sandwich. And mayo. Normally they cut this, but they didn't feel like doing that today. Mmm. I never had the breakfast one before, but mayo and eggs is one of those things that I actually do like. On a sandwich. Man, it's just hitting different right now. It's also because I'm freaking hungry. That's really good. 8.8 .8 out of 10. This is this is doing it for me right now. But I know we don't have this long of a combo, but I gotta talk to y'all, man. Because you know how you be out now. The party consisted of about I want to say about 20 dudes, right? And everybody is, you know, they're it was kind of a low-key thing. It wasn't anything like a bachelor party. That's why I didn't say it like that, because it wasn't. It was more like it was a bunch of dudes just watching sports and stuff. Like, went to a, a like a sports bar and stuff like that. It wasn't nothing crazy. But I think I've said this before. I'm not a big drinker. I don't drink a lot, you know? So I literally had – everybody had a shot. I'm – I'm a dough. I'm gonna dough. Everybody had a one shot for like a you know a toast. So I had that and I had club soda for the rest of the night. It really sucks when you're the only person who's sober. And there was one of the dudes, like he's cool, right? You ever have somebody that like they they be touching you too much? Not in a weird way. Like, they be talking, and they're always, like, poking you in the chest. They're like, hey, hey, and he, I'm, bro, I don't know why, but I really don't like that. Like, don't touch me, bro. <laughs> I don't, and every, and, you know, I hadn't talked to dude in a while, and he was, like, just real, and I don't mind. Like, I mean, he was cool to talk to, but every time he touched me, bro, I'd be like, 
And I couldn't, you know, anybody who watches my videos, man, y'all know I'm super demonstrative. Like, I'm animated. You can tell what I'm thinking. So, at one point, he kind of realized, he kind of realized it, bro. And he's like, man, my bad. You want me to buy you a drink? I'm like, nah, I'm not drinking tonight. I'm cool. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Every time he'd say, he'd be like, poke me, bro. Or like, he'd be talking and he'd keep, why do you, why do people do that, bro? Don't touch me. <laughs> they be talk, they talk, and they'd be like, hey, bro, hey, bro. And they'd be just smacking me, bro. And you're like, why are you smacking me, bro? I'm like, why are you, you can't just tell me the story? But I was trying real hard to not let it get to me because I just, again, I don't like when people just don't touch me. It drove me crazy. And you know how people drink, and they be talking about the weirdest stuff, and you be like, bro, you make no damn sense right now. Well, bro, and he make no damn sense right now. I don't know what the hell he was trying to talk about, but it was nice to see everybody. But while we were out, you know, I still, like, chipped in and paid towards anything, but I didn't eat nothing, like anything. I didn't even try anything. So, I ain't gonna lie, the food was smelling good, too. And of course, everybody knows what I do. They're like, what, you're not gonna rate this? I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, I sit there and watch everybody eat and drink for, like, all that time. I just had some club soda. I might go back there one of these days, though, and try some, like, food. I ain't gonna lie. The wings look like they was hitting on something. I might as well give it a shot. I didn't even know, though. Like, it's like quesadillas. Like, like they had to, we got calamari, like cal calamari. I say calamari, but. Stuff like that. But, yeah. That's where I came from. So, normally I'm wearing sweatpants in these videos, but I got jeans on right now. Super uncomfortable. But it was cool to see everybody. It's nice to see another one of my friends kind of like tying a knot. I'm happy for him because it's always nice that when, when one of your boys, it's never a good feeling. And I'm sure a lot of y'all been through this. It's never a good feeling when you don't like somebody that one of your friends is with. Because then you got to deal with them. And also you don't want them to like, you know, cause the drama in your friend's life, whatever, whatever. But not in this case. I think she's cool. I don't think she's a, like, bad person or nothing like that. And it's even better. It just makes things easier for everybody. Because the last thing you want is one of your friends to kind of, like, go through, like, the bad stuff in relationships and stuff. And you kind of... I don't know how y'all are, but if, like, my boy, one of my boys, whatever, dates a woman that I don't like, I'm still civil. I don't act weird. I don't, like, try to... Some people will just let it be known. I don't like her. I don't like him. Like, I don't do that. I feel like it's not your place to do stuff like that. I won't even really say nothing to my friend. Except for one time. Like, if I don't like that person, I'm not going to be fake to my friend. I'll never do it around her. But on a day... Like, I'll go up to him and be like, hey, man, I got to talk to you, bro. I don't, you know, I normally don't do this, but as a friend, I just got to say this shit. And I'm going to say it one time, and I'm going to never say it again. And I'm gonna be like, yo, whatever my issue is, not just I don't like her, because that's weird. But if I think that she's like, what's the word? Like, scandalous, I guess? Or like, she she's not valid? You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, bro, that's your girl. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that's your friend. I got to say this. I don't think she's valid. Here's why, and then I'm never going to open my mouth about this again, but I had to at least tell you. So next time I see him or her, I'm still going to be civil about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to like, some people don't like the friend, bro, and they be like, hi. I, I think that's really rude, you know? It's not about being a phony. It's about just keeping the peace. You don't got to act overly like you like them, but you still be cool, you know what I'm saying? And I've had some friends over the years, bro, that have dated some women that 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't tell them this until it was all said and done, but I couldn't stand them girls. I just felt like nothing they did was valid. Like there was just some ulterior motives. And unfortunately, a lot of times I was right. You know, so I would say my piece and then just go on about my business, but you never want to see that. So it's good that this this time it's not like that. Like But out of the group of twenty people, I think like I'm like one of like four that don't got kids. <laughs> so like everybody else got kids and they're like, when you go ahead, I'm like, shit. I'm gonna have a food baby tonight, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? But it's weird because now we all been out of school for a number of years that, enough that everybody's got kind of their own thing, like the families and stuff. It's just super like weird to see it. It's like the movies, but I still feel like I look the same, <laughs> but I grew a mustache. So it's like one of them flash forward scenes. I watched the MMA fight today. Also had that happen. Um, I normally don't really watch MMA. Not to say I dislike it, but I'm not like a person who's avid. Like, you know, people are diehard about it. I'll watch it because it's on. So it was kind of like not a good fight, but I'm happy for that underdog dude. I think his name is Sinclair. And he fought the, the one dude with the tattoos and stuff. And it just looked like the dude with the tattoos, black dude. He didn't want to be there. My friends all think the fight was fixed. Because <laughs> they said there's no way that that would happen. Because it felt almost like he didn't throw a single punch. I'm not the expert. Also watching college football. My boy Deion Sanders 2-0. Happy about that. I don't know if some of y'all are old enough. I guess a lot of y'all are. But the amount of celebrities I saw at that game today at Colorado, right? Like, Cameron was there. The Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, Ghost, James St. Patrick, a.k.a. Omari Hardwick was there. Like, just, T.O. I haven't seen anything like that in a college game since USC. Like, back in the, in the two, early 2000s, USC was like that, where, like, they had all celebrities on the sidelines and stuff. It's just cool. I love that. It just, it brings, like, a Hollywood vibe. To, to football. And I really enjoy that. But what I really enjoy is the damn food. As you can tell, because I just ate and talk most of the time, which I normally don't do. Tomorrow is the start of the NFL season. Actually, let me take that back because I know there's going to be somebody who's like, actually, that was Thursday. Tomorrow is most people's first games of the NFL season. I understand week one is underway, but. I'm sure all of our teams is playing, so there will be back to the crap talking in the caption section. That's what I was getting at. I always let it be known before the year starts that I'm a Giants fan. I root for the Giants. But I'm not one of them scream at the TV type of fans. If they lose, I just feel like there's more important things in life. So I don't really get that angry about it. So I'll be sure to be wonderful. Cowboys messages... By Monday. I'm sure we'll be there. But when we were watching the games, there was one dude that was like screaming at the TV, like, let's go! And I'm just like, yeah, that's... All I kept telling was like, bro, you got passion, bro. <laughs> that's passion. I can't do that. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying you're wrong for doing it. I'm not saying you're weird for doing it. That's just not me. I don't really like get hyped for like games like that. Like, and I'm not playing him. So... Before somebody gets offended when I say, oh, I'm not saying you're weird. I'm just saying that you're not me. Like, we're different. Not that I'm better or worse for the offended group. I still love y'all. But I'll probably just stop eating this, man. I just wanted to get in and have some food and chop it up with y'all talk about my day. And the touchy dude. You're touching me too much. I guess one more taco, right?
I know I said before, this place is one of my favorite late night eat spots. No cap, like super affordable, super reliable. They're super consistent. And I just feel like if you're eating here after midnight, there's not much better food you can get at this time. And that's not, and I eat here all the time. Because I know there's a small portion of you guys that think that I'm doing ads and I get paid for this. I buy all my shit. I got receipts. Never been paid a dime to eat any of the food on my channel. Never. I have received free food before, but in those videos, within the first five minutes, I will always disclose that. Like, hey, this food was free. Or they threw in free stuff. But most of the time, I tell them that I don't want it. And I also won't tell them that it's me until I, like, am getting my food and out the door. Because sometimes they do know. And I don't want special treatment. But this food is delicious. I'm going to try to eat everything. Make sure I got a game to watch tomorrow. I got another video I got to record tomorrow. And all kinds of stuff. But I had to check in with some food. and just tell y'all because today I'm exhausted, bro. I was out last night with, with my friends. And I streamed till 5 a.m. I was up recording the video that you saw yesterday. I didn't go back to sleep. I watched the Colorado game and then got ready and went out at 4 o'clock and didn't get home till 1. So I'm running on like three hours of sleep. So I'm going to try to get some Z's. The only thing I got to do yesterday was record a video and work out. <laughs> and then I went out with my friends. So the show goes on. I'm not complaining. But I'm just telling you what happened. I wouldn't trade this for anything in the world. Anytime you hear me saying I'm tired, I am, but I'm glad I am. I like being tired. I like to work. I like being overly busy. I feel at home and at peace in that time. So I want about everything I'm bitching and moaning about that kind of stuff. I'm usually just telling y'all what's, what's what. You know, again, these videos aren't scripted. I know what the hell I was going to say until I turn the camera on and we go from there. But that's me to end the video. I hope your teams tomorrow win unless you're the Cowboys. <laughs> but we will be back. I got some of my teeth done. Man, that's crazy. No matter. Tomorrow, more content. I love y'all. The hand sign. They made it to YouTube.